Hey, it's Sam here from Guitar.com, and we're back at the Harmony booth with Josh, and he's going to tell us all about the H650. So, what can he tell us? Hey, how you doing, man? So, um, part of the uh, renaissance of Harmony that we are experiencing right now is our amp line, which will be coming, I think, early 2020. Um, so, this is the H650. It's a 50-watt combo, one 12-inch Jensen Alnico speaker. Um, and it has some really cool features that I want to show you. Um, first off, it is a master volume with a um, with a gain. Um, so it's a two-stage amplifier. You can do like you can either push it by by turning up the gain, or you can turn down the gain and push it by turning up the master. And what usually happens with a 50 watt amp is it gets way too loud when you do that. Well, we have an attenuator built into it, so you can step it down. So if you're looking for like that you know, dirtier tone, but you don't want to blow it out, but you want that rich um, power uh, tube harmonics, then you just step it down, crank up the, the, uh, the master, and off you go. So that's, that's kind of my favorite feature of it. But on top of that, we have a spring reverb and we have a tube-driven tremolo. And the tremolo is beautiful. It's just super deep and juicy and wet and swampy. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically the, the, the amp is built to be your only amp. Like many times you see people like, oh, I need a, I need a big amp for bigger gigs, you know, small you, you Like you'll see players with like three amps on stage? Yeah, yeah, so this does it all, all in one shot. Um, the, um, uh, the reverb and the trem will be foot switchable. So um, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks so much. And uh, we can expect these in 2020, you said? Yeah. Great. Uh, beginning of 2020. Start of 2020. Fantastic. Cool. Thanks very much. I'm here with Mark Johnson from the even cooler Ambient Note Instagram page. So, Mark, can you tell us what's your opinion on this new amp? Uh, I'm a massive fan. Uh, for me, I just want an amp to be like clean and kind of low endy and resonant, and uh, mostly take guitar pedals as well because that's all I really do. And uh, this sounds incredible. It's got great character and. I will never stop playing the tremolo on this. So what do you usually look for in a tremolo then? Um, I think there's a, there's a hard to define thing that people just call mojo or whatever. Some trem pedals, some trem circuits, some tube circuits just have it or don't have it. And uh, I played this for like 20 minutes before anyone told me there was a tremolo on it. And then I turned it on and I went, oh, I have to start over now. I have to redo everything I just did, but with that tremolo kind of pulsating in the background. It's really, really kind of magical and percussive in a way that stays out of the way of your rhythm of playing, but gives you a lot of a lot of extra motion. Do you mind playing, playing some for us? Let's hear it. Yeah. Thank Amazing, that sounds incredible.